Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to Sunday School this week. Um, so this week we are going to talk about um, Lazarus, not Lazarus, um, Jairus' daughter um, coming back to life. So that's what we're going to talk about this week. Um, so downstairs you can pick up your packets and there's some extra things in there. Um, our normal color page that we would start out with every morning. And then also... Um, Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there on Sunday and grandparents, grandmas, um, great grandmothers, and all those. Um, there's a little extra color page, maybe boys and girls you can color for that mom or, or grandma, whoever you kind of want to give it to. So that is extra in there. So thank you very much for that. So we'll just dive right into our lesson. So this week, I, as you boys and girls all have seen our baby doll here in the classroom, it's a little naked today so what do you think how can we help our baby what do we what do we need some clothes a diaper good what about if our baby would fall and get a scratch what would a band-aid and who could help us do all that our mommies and daddies very good so Jesus is all-powerful he helps us and hopefully you can think about some times where Jesus has helped you this week. Um, so, and then, so let's go ahead and we'll say our prayer together. Dear Jesus, you are powerful. You help me. You even have power over death. Thank you for helping us every day. Amen. All right, so one other thing that, you know, to help introduce our story, um, we're gonna talk about plants. I am not a very good plant taker, um, but pretend I have a live plant and a dead plant. How would we, how would we take care of that? Water, sun, very good. So today in our Bible story, a little girl is very sick. Her father asked Jesus to heal her. Do you think Jesus could do this? Yes, very good. Then the little girl, when the little girl said she could, Jesus could still hear her. So let's find out in our story of what happens. So we'll get out our book right here. In Jesus's book, the Bible, there is a true story about Jesus and a family. In the family, there was a daddy named Jairus a mommy, and a little girl. One day, the little girl got very sick. Medicine could not make her better. Jarvis and the little girl's mommy were worried and scared. I wonder who could help them? Let's find out. Jarvis knew that Jesus could help. He hurried away to find him. When Jairus came to where Jesus was teaching, he pushed through the crowd and got down on his knees in front of Jesus. He begged Jesus, please, my little girl is very sick. Will you come and make her well again? What do you think Jesus did? He came. You're probably right. Let's keep reading and find out. Jesus went with Jairus and lots of people followed them. But on the way, some men came and told Jairus, it's too late. Your little girl is dead. Don't bother Jesus anymore. What do you think Jesus did then? He kept going to Jairus' house. He knew how sad Jairus was. Jesus wanted Jairus to keep on trusting him. He told him, don't be afraid, just believe. When they got to the house, there were many people crying there. Jesus asked, why are you crying? This little girl isn't dead. She's only asleep. Jesus meant he could make her alive again just as easily as he could wake up a sleeping girl. Then Jesus went to the little girl's room with her mommy and daddy. Jesus took the little girl's hand and said, little girl, get up. What do you think happened? The little girl opened her eyes and she got up. She even started walking around. Jesus told her parents to give her something to eat. Everyone was so surprised. 
Jairus and the girl's mommy were so happy that Jesus had made her alive and well again. Jairus asked Jesus to help. We can ask Jesus for help too. We never have to be afraid of sickness or even death because Jesus died on the cross to take away our sins. Jesus has the power to heal us. He heals us of our sin sickness too. So one day we can live with him in the new heaven and earth. What an amazing story and all the marvelous, miraculous things that Jesus can do for all of us. So now we'll move on to our worksheet here. So we wanna talk about our picture. So who do you see? Jesus. And who do you think these are? Her parents. The little girl. So you can color her blanket there any color you want. And then when you finish that, we'll turn to the back. Jesus heals me. So we're going to talk about each of the pictures, and you can use your stickers that will be in your bag to help you put on our pictures. So in this picture, we have a mommy helping a little girl. Very good. And then we have over here in the bedroom. And then, oh. Right, a baby getting baptized in church. And then, right, a little boy praying. So you'll want to use all of your heart cross stickers and put one on each one as you talk about it with mommy or daddy or your siblings. And then we have our craft. So you'll have this bag. It has lots of fun things. So you can make a craft how you like, and it will be two-sided. So we have a stick for, the little, for a little girl, and you can make a little boy as well. And there's googly eyes that you can use to glue on, or you can use the eyes, the sticker eyes. Or if you want your, you create your stick person however you want. And then the foam piece is your blanket, because we can practice. Because what happened in our story? Right, the little girl rose and got up and lived happily with her family. So that's be your craft for this week. So if you want to make it a little girl or a little boy, you do whatever you like because it's your craft. All right, and now we will close with our closing prayer. Dear Jesus, I know you are powerful. I know you love me. Thank you for healing me from my sin sickness. I know you will always help me. Amen. Have a wonderful week.